Hello and welcome to the Jam Den, the podcast spotlighting live and local musical talent from right here in the Midwest, recorded live at commercial recording studios in Cleveland, Ohio. You're listening to Costly Court, funk band from the Akron Kent area. My name is Chris Mazalesta, very happy to be here as your host for this latest installment of the Jam Den. So come on downstairs, take the shoes off, get ready to get funky, let's throw it on over to Costly Court. Gotta get back, gotta get back 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 All right, Costly Court here in the Jam Den. Gentlemen, welcome. Hey. Oh, hello, hello. Up, hello, hello. Uh, get, like I say, get the shoes off, sink <sighs> into the funky shag. Is everybody comfortable? I'm feeling pretty good. Oh, yeah. Feeling yeah, pretty good. good. Excellent. Gonna, let's bring up uh, Mr. Uh, Jeff Knightsky of uh, Costly Court. Come and uh, speak to us a little bit about the band. What's going on with Costly Court? Do it, Ski. Do it, Ski. Uh, tell us a little bit about the band, Jeff, uh, Costly Court. First of all, the well, the name itself is a little funky. Uh, go along with the funky sounds. Uh, uh, what's the, what's the inspiration? Well, uh, the band started out in Kent, Ohio, and a couple of the guys in the band, Eric Murray on guitar and Kevin Del Santer on bass, and they lived in a house on Costly Court in Kent, and that's where the name came about. Obviously, we got the funk influence. Is that what the band is basically about? Um, well, yeah, we do a lot of funk tunes, um, and uh, we're influenced by all sorts of things. Some reggae, some rock, uh, jazz, Caribbean kind of African, kind of all mm-hmm. over the place, um, kind yeah, of blends that. into yeah. all of our music. Why don't we have a go-around, tell us who's in the band. Eric Murray playing guitar, we have Kevin Del Sander playing bass. Woo-hoo. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we have Tom Resnick on trumpet. Hello. We have Tony Spicer playing saxophone. Jason Little playing percussion. And uh, again, I'm <laughs> Jeff Nitsky playing drums. Uh, what are we going to hear? Um, this next tune we're going to do is called uh, Organic. This, this is one I wrote. Don't and... be bashful, Ski, that's right. <laughs> And uh, I think we're going to hear Tom and Tony playing solos on this one. All right, well, why don't we get to it? A little bit of uh, organic from the band Costly Court right here on Jamden.com. Thank you. 
decidedly funky sounds from Costly Court, our guests here in the Jam Den. We want to welcome over to the Jam Den uh, guest couch, if you will, Tom Resnick from the band. We're spread out. It's nice. That's what we strive for. That's our uh, standard to bear, if you will, here in the Jam Den. I wanted to find out what types of venues you guys have been playing these days. Uh, We've been playing a lot of club dates recently. Kent, Akron, Canton, Cleveland, Youngstown. Whoever will have us, we love to play. That pretty much covers uh, <laughs> c- covers the Northeast Ohio area. Yeah, you got it. What are the kinds of uh, places you guys play when you're not performing as Costly Corp? Oh, it, it varies a whole lot. I mean, the drummers are always working. Wherever they need a saxophone, Tony Spicer's there. Kevin, You know, and I've she- heard that. I've, uh, <laughs> somewhere I've heard that. I do a lot of symphony work myself and, uh, you know, whoever calls. And then, uh, you know, Eric does his guitar thing and he does some sitar and... Uh, you know, Kevin gets around funking on the bass, and so... Yeah, so it sounds like, you know, you guys got good holds on your instruments, and you can pretty much do any kind of stuff that comes along. The music's got to be good, though, correct? You got it. Absolutely. Well, what kind of stuff are we going to hear now here in the Jam Den? We're going to do one by uh, Eric, the guitarist. This is called The Nines, and Tony's going to break it down a little flute for you. I think it has a little bit of a West Coast feel about it. Costly Court, right here on jamden.com. This 
is how I feel in my nines. This is how I feel in my nines. Rolling. This is how I feel in my nines. This is how I feel in my nines. Rolling. This is how I feel in my nines. This is how I feel in my nines. Rolling. This is how I feel in my nines. And costly court, the tune, the nines. And we've got uh, Tom Resnick up and front and center right on. speaking to us. One thing I wanted to find out your take on, when you're putting together a funk tune, you mentioned that uh, you remember Eric wrote the tune. The style of funk, much more so than a lot of others, uh, is based on you know the inherent groove, the style that is inherent in each person. When one person puts the idea out for a song, uh, how does it... You know, how does it change and, and, and kind of take shape once the other people in the band put their own inherent, you know, groove or their own inherent funk into the mix? We were talking earlier about how everyone in the band is kind of into their own scene. I mean, obviously the drums are coming from a different angle. Tony's deep into the jazz. The bass is always into the groove. Eric brings a lot of worldly instruments and sounds to us, and uh, I'm into the funk, so it's like... Everybody puts their little twitch on things, you know, and we'll get to talking, hey, let's try this. And so it's a real workable atmosphere, you know what I'm saying? You each feel that you have your own equal say into, you know, how the the, the tune is going to go stylistically. Yeah, right, right. Nobody has any hang-ups about, hey, let's do this here. Usually it's like, yeah, cool, man, sounds good there. Shall we uh, Shall we move forward and delve a little bit further into the sounds of Costly Chord right now? We're going to do one that I wrote called And Then It's Over. It's just got kind of like a reggae groove to it, but a, a funk reggae groove it's it's real loose tony's gonna blow a little sax solo for us on this one and uh we kind of like it costly court and then it's over much different We keep going on and on I keep thinking things will clear and it reminds me where it was I'm coming from Don't you know how it feels when your love just reels and then it's over Oh, it's over Go out for a taste Was it all just a waste I could name a thousand reasons You keep changing like the seasons Don't you know how it feels When your love just reels And then it's over Just how much 
much time we had spent Now there's nothing going on but the rent And then it's over Oh, it's over some smoother sounds from Costly Court, and then it's over. We're going to have the guys do uh, one here. What's uh, what's coming up right now, Tom? Uh, this is a, a jazz funk tune by uh, Tony. It's called Bald is for Lovers. <laughs> that, that, that title wouldn't happen to mean anything, would it? No, not at all, man. <laughs> Go to CostlyCT.com. I'm not exactly sure why, but he's going to funk out on it anyway, I'll bet. Absolutely. Absolutely. Here in Jamden.com, it's Costly Court.
thank uh, the members of Costly Court. Hope you guys uh, found it uh, comfortable and uh, conducive to the funk here in the Jam Den. Uh, we want to let the people know that uh, if you want to get information on how you can receive the podcasts uh, on a regular basis, we'd like you to go to www.jamden.com slash podcast. And that'll give you all the information you need to have your various uh, MP3 player or whatever update automatically, ensuring that you get the very latest episodes of the Jam Den. want to thank uh, Jeff and Tom and all the guys in Costly Court. Again, it's Costly CT. That's spelled C-O-S-T-L-E-Y-C-T dot com. And uh, definitely want to thank Commercial Recording Studios for uh, once again continuing to bring us the Jam Den. My name is Chris Mazalesta, and we're going to see you back here again real soon, keeping the couch warm and keeping the music going in the Jam Den. Bye-bye for now.